Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. We're just gonna go straight into the point because my camera's gonna die. And yeah, so yesterday, basically, when I was gonna work, I came down in the basement. As you guys know, why is the shit blurry? So I have to sit like this. Anyways, came to reverse my car, whatever, and I didn't even know something was in my dashboard. I thought it was me because usually when I go to events, I put stuff in my dashboard and I don't take out the ticket until like later, later and I see it's falling or whatever because I like to have remember it well for a week and then I dash it back where it has to be my car or throw it out, whatever. So I'm reversing my car now. Yeah, anyway, so I'm reversing my car now. I see a paper in front of my dashboard and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Sorry for my swearing. I know some of you don't like it, but I'm cheese right now. I don't love cheese, but, like, I was so heated yesterday. Oh, my God. But anyways, I was racing my car, and then I see something on my dashboard. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So, I'm like, no, no, no. Let me stop. Let me stop. So, I stopped, and then I go read it, and then it says warning. I'm like, what the hell is this? So, I read it. Let me read it for you. I don't have the paper now because I gave it to the super. What did the super do? Crunch it up. He's like, this is nothing. I think he threw it out when he went home. Because my mom was cheese. I told my mom to cover me. My mom was cheese. He said he's going to go talk to the person who wrote that to me. Nothing. This is what the letter said. Let me see if you guys can see it here. Focus. Read it yourself, yo. That's so disrespectful. And I made sure I took a picture of this first before I, before I gave it to Super because I already knew he was going to throw it out. It says, warning. I don't want to see your car bumper in my parking lot anymore. Be respect. What kind of English is that, first of all? And if you're going to write that threat letter to me, at least have communication with me first before you write a threat letter. Like... Anyway, so I was reversing my car, I read that, and, I'm, and I got mad. I was like, okay, let me dash it. And then after, I'm like, no, 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 no. This is proof of evidence. Like, anybody could pick up that paper and say it was theirs. They didn't do nothing. Where's my proof, right? Does a person leave behind me? Even if they didn't leave, I don't care. So I'm like, this is my proof. So I put it there beside my passenger side. Where's the passenger? Or I don't remember. Anyways, passenger side where my mom sits. And I drove to work. I was so cheesy. I was like thinking, should I go, go to work because of this? Should I handle the situation? But I'm like, let me go to work because I need money. And then, like, it always could be solved later, right? I don't want to be waking up anybody right now because it's 8 o'clock. Whatever. It, it is serious, but, like, it, it could be held a bit. So I went to work. I called my mom. And I told her, I'm like, yo, what is this threat letter thing? She's like, well, what happened? What happened? So I read it to her. And she's like what who will write this i'm like obviously the person parked in front of me the person parking number is 48 i don't care i'm putting you on blast mine i'm right behind it i'm not gonna tell you guys my number so my mom's, my mom's like okay okay well she was so cheap she was gonna say something when i cut her off i'm like yo i'm gonna super right after she's like okay go talk to him I'm like you're coming with me because i'm cheese i don't want to hear his bullshit he's gonna say something else because he thinks i'm a kid right so She's like, I'm going to tell him to get, give you another parking spot. I'm like, no, 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 mother. I came to this parking first, and this parking is big. Why is this girl walking around? Anyways, so I'm like, I came to this parking spot first. And every fucking day, different cars park here. If it's not every day, it's every week. So I don't know who put that shit in front of me. So whatever. Waited for the time to pass. And then other shit happens at work, so that threw me over because I was focused on this I had plans of what I'm going to say to super what's going to happen whatever shit happened at work threw me over I couldn't even like oh my god my head was spinning so I come home waiting for my mom we went upstairs did what we had to do came down because we were supposed to go to grocery every Friday is go to grocery came down and then knocked on the super's door obviously super not there and it was 5 o'clock I was so cheesy mom was like well we have to leave but we knocked I was so cheesy so we're, I'm like rushing I'm like yo Go to grocery quick and knock on the super door. We've got to be back by 8 or 9. So I think when we came back, it was like 8 or like 9 o'clock. We knocked on the super's door. Mom was like, who's parking in front of us? I'm like, don't explain it like that. Just say what happened, whatever. He's like, okay, whatever. Me and my mom are arguing back and forth. He's like, whatever. Let me come down with you to the basement. He comes down with us. He's like, this is the car. I'm like, that is not the car that was parked there um, in front of me 
two days ago and he's looking at me like why why i'm like every fucking day somebody new park somebody new parks in that parking spot or it's every week and he's looking at me he said no, no, no. he said okay go get the security asking for the parking list so i go get the security how is a parking list three pages that's that's a lie i seen the parking list before it's freaking like about 50 pages okay my camera's dying lord jesus it's about 50 pages so how is that the parking parking garage that's a lie it's probably a setup they knew what was gonna happen anyways so he comes down with the thing super whatever he's like okay i'm gonna talk to the guy blah 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 why did he write this i'm like you're asking me i don't know um security now telling me to call the police and take it like into a serious hand super's just like well he complained about you before saying that you're parking in his parking spot i'm like and I'm like, oh, really? Really? So if he complained to you, why didn't you come and talk to me, first of all? And why couldn't he come talk to me? It's called communication. You can't just write this threat letter. He's like, what, what, is it? what threat letter? I'm like, really? Mom's like, this is a threat letter. Read it. It says warning. So whatever. He's just like, okay, well, well, he did complain uh, before, 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 before. What do you mean before, before? Because it was those two new cars that parked right there, those weren't the two cars that were parked there before. Mind you, there was a car that was, when I came, brought the super, there was a car that was backing out and leaving. That car used to park in front of me. And then he moved over to that side. Maybe because I was parking in front. The reason why I park, uh, it's a little inch. You're complaining about a little inch. A little inch into their parking. Their parking is bigger than mine. Anyways, I parked a little bit inch into their parking is because I told the super. Every time I come and I'm backed out, because my thing is like near... The path, the passing where you're exiting the garage. Somebody scratches my car. He's like, "Oh, I never seen anybody scratch my car. Nobody." I'm like, "Really? Nobody scratches my car? I didn't say you seen. Obviously, you're not gonna see it. Somebody scratches my car. I don't know who it is." So I said, "Okay, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this." And then I noticed that every time I park my car up more, nobody scratches my car because I see people when I'm coming down there. They're standing on my car. They're touching it. They're smoking and shit. And I get cheese. I'm like, "What the fuck is that? Is this?" Um, a hookah lounge, like a chilling lounge on my car. No, no one's going to chill on my car unless I, I let you. But I don't let anybody chill on my car. I don't even chill on my car myself. So what the hell? And then he's like, okay, well, we'll talk to the guy. We'll talk to the guy. And then he looked at He's like, oh, what apartment does he live on? And I'm saying the apartment number. I don't give a fuck. 1204. 1204. And then he's like, no, it's a different number. Giving different numbers. I'm like, exactly, because different cars park here. If that was me, I would have got a ticket because I remember, I think I got this parking last year two years ago. We, my mom picked up three parkings. There was one back there, one in front of me, and then I chose this. We said we we're gonna tell the super. We told the super whatever, cause we told. And I have a feeling it's a good number. So whatever, we told them we wanted that we were supposed to go back and report. Mom was like, "What's the point? Because you already said what parking number you wanted." Tell me all. We left the car, whatever. We came back from Ghana. We got a ticket. My mom went. To, I told my mom pay for that ticket or go fight it with the super, cause I'm done with them. They, they always piss me off. So whatever, whatever. My mom didn't find off. She ended up paying the ticket. So exactly, if um, different cars are parking around, I'm saying that was me. I would have got a ticket like that. This is just ridiculous. So yesterday, I'm gonna put a video right now. You'll see the license plate is on there, but obviously, I'm gonna blur it out. The white car now, because the car, anyways, yeah, the white car now, the one of the other cars that parks in front of me gave me space, because that white car knows it, it's respectful, but how do I know that? It's not the white car that gave me the note, because yesterday when I came, there was no car parked in front of me, so I parked a little inch, like I said. So I don't know who wrote it. When I came in the morning, the car was gone. So I don't know who wrote that there. I was so vexed. Um, yeah, the white car gave me a little inch. I am have a feeling it's a... Uh, gray honda not gray sorry silver honda car because that one always likes to fight with me every time he sees me he's always talking in his language and i'm not going to say his ethnicity because that's not necessary he's always like yelling at me going like this i'm like what what one time he was about to come punch me like come to he came to the driver's side looking at me come down i'm like what what like it gave him the look like what and you man so every time he sees me he's always trying to compete with me driving in reversing into my car and i don't care i still bark bumper to bumper with him like i'm not i'm not gonna 
let him like take over me or whatever that gray car anyways the silver car always parks in my parking anyway so i don't know why the fuck i'm assuming it's him sorry i don't know why he would um put that in my thing anyways because he's the one that's disrespectful always parking to my parking and like i said i only park up close is because somebody scratches my car and i realize if i park up more because the parking my parking is big but it's not that big but the other parking in front of me is bigger i just gotta park up because i don't want somebody scratching my car and then the car that parks beside me he's disrespectful too he's always what does he always do he always he's scratching my car one time like he was driving he had like two different cars because he got in an accident or whatever he scratched my car too so i when i when i park i park closer to the left and closer to the front i don't give a fuck nobody can complain to me anyways so like i said i don't even know where i was at the honda car i think it was him and i like i said i'm gonna put the video of who i think i was at he disrespects my car too so i park up more yesterday i came the white car was there i have a video i'm literally on my line i come now there's no car there see like random cars are parking there I don't know. And I came downstairs to to come and record in my car because I'm about to go get gas, do my thing. Whatever. There's no car here. And the super office is open. Super Usually it's not open. Maybe because of my incident, it's open. So my mom was telling me again, if shit goes down like this again or something, we're calling the police. And that was a warning, a, a threat saying, let me, read, let me read the thing again. And I'm going to put a picture here for you guys to see. It says, warning. I don't want to see your car bumper in my parking lot anymore. Be respect. Warning. So what are you what are you gonna do to me? You can't do nothing. And every time, yeah, like I said, the the silver car comes. He's always trying to compete with me. They can't even talk to me. They don't even speak English very well. They're always saying something in their language. They say to me, whatever, and then they run. They do whatever. They laugh, and I just I'm just looking at them like. Anyways, I'm like all over the place for my story but yeah that's my story i'll give you guys an update or anything this is just like disrespectful they're saying i'm being disrespect i, I need to be respected I'm sorry respect not respected because they can't even speak proper english i need to be respect it's called communication that's what i told the super it's called communication and if this was a problem from before you would have came and talked to me no no you sh or you should have no but you didn't so and I have a right to park. Oh, oh, he, oh! I forgot. The super selling me. Oh, you need to park back more. He's showing me a different line. That's where I used to park. And then I got all those scratches in my car. My car got fucked up. And my mom was blaming me. I know what I do to my car. Because sometimes, like back in the day, I used to damage my car. I know my damage. But somebody else's? No. But, yeah. Um, he's telling me to reverse back. Because the, the car in front of me, they have. he's like, he has a big van. I don't care if he has a big van. I care about my car. I don't want to be to be getting scratched no more. I'm sick and tired of it getting scratched, and then I'm getting blamed by my mother saying it's me. And then I gotta go fix that. Are you gonna pay for my scratches? Like what the fuck? And I don't know who did it. It could have been the guy beside me too, because he, before he used to scratch my car, like I said. But yeah, that's my story. I'll give you guys an update. I'm still cheese. I haven't seen anybody. I'm going to go do my thing now. Hurry up and come back before bullshit comes. Because it's always a competition. And when I'm not here, he's always trying to park in my parking. I'm not even parking his. I'm just worried about my car. Because before, I used to park in their parking too. I used to park half. Half in their parking. Because I'm like, no one's parking here. And then something was telling me, okay. Even though no one's there, someone can come get it later. So let me reverse back. That's what I did. So if I parked in your parking, it was just a little inch. You shouldn't complain. And I would even, you always park in my parking. Do I complain? No. I was just mad, whatever. I just parked behind you. Done. Like, this is nothing but warning. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me, really? You tell me. I'm just waiting. If you guys want to do something, don't worry. Don't worry. God is behind me, number one. And I have the police on deck. I have my emergency number, right? All right. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little threat thing or whatever. Put your comments down below what you think. 
I should do or if I was wrong to park just a little inch or something. I'm just worried about my, my car safety because my car's big, I'm small, like, you know? Tell me what he did was wrong. Just put your comments, your thoughts or whatever in the comment section. And yeah, y'all have a nice, lovely, blessed day. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. And if you are, thank you. But continue to subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with you with more videos. I have videos that I still have to edit from. Uh, I still have to edit from Caravan and Weekend. Other videos I haven't posted, so don't worry. I'm coming at you with bare videos. Don't worry. I have you guys covered. All right, bye.